Jesus Christ, Alex, that looks terrifying. You're standing on nothing. Yeah, this is nerve wracking. Man, we've been caving all day. It's a two, two cave one day. Two caves one day? Yeah, two caves one day. Got the chaos crew with us. Ryan don't want to be on camera. What's up, Alex? Trying to do a new style of video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, Uncle Jed's. We got ooh, sparkling mandarin marshmallows. What you got there, Alex? Just the essentials for the trip, you know? <laughs> Mike's hard? God, if I still drank, man. That's the one. Got the whole place to ourselves. I know we're thinking the same thing. Yeah. Where's Cade? Yeah. Better call him. Where's Cade? Break the seal. This is a game changer, dude. I'm normally hauling like so many pounds of water into a cave. And you know how caves are formed, water, duh. So this handy dandy little water filter is gonna keep me hydrated in caves. We're at the cave, we got a long hike. You got the kitchen. So we're gonna go drop some pits. All right, I'm happy to say that we are almost there. Whoo! I've never seen this thing flow in water, dude. Yeah, some of my buddies were up here about two weeks ago and uh, they were down in this cave and they said that it was hurricaning down at the bottom of the pit like really bad where like water was flying up sideways just all around through the air and stuff like that. So we may get in here today and see something epic and crazy. Dude, that's intense. This is going to be fun. I've never even seen water coming out of this thing and uh, we going to get soaked. All right, guys, I'm going to peek down in here. Got my Nightcore Spotlight, HC65, a new little upgrade. I normally rock the HC35, but uh, Nightcore sent me this light. Man, it sounds crazy in here. This is nuts, dude. I've never seen water in this. Yo, I'll carry the 450, but someone's got to carry the 150. I'm not carrying two ropes. Sit in here. All right. I got you. Appreciate you, Ryan. I've already been in this cave. Like I said, we have dropped fantastic pit, so I kind of want to showcase some more of this cave. So I'm probably going to skip through this a little bit. I'll see you guys at the warm-up pit, 125 feet. It's definitely getting bigger in here. The waterfall is right over there, and uh, we're going to be rappelling down beside it. All right. Ready? Turn it down. I feel like we're on Did bottom. Did we hit bottom? I mean, you're over here because the waterfall. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, this is nerve wracking. Yeah, I always thought warm up pit was kind of intense coming over it. Yeah. Sure, I'm ooh, tied up. D ring, boom, boom, double back. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I ain't done a big pit in a minute. These shoes are so slippery, dude. Oh yeah. Dang, that waterfall is going. I was wondering if we were going to get wet. Don't look like we are. Don't look like I am. I don't know why I just said we. 
I guess because there's multiple people here with me, duh. All right. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Look at that waterfall, man. That's so epic. <laughs> God, it's windy down here. Holy crap. Off road! I don't know where the guys went. That waterfall is ripping today, man. Yo! Oh, they're down here. It's wet in this cave today, man. I think this cave's 14 miles long. I don't know how many gallons of water flowing through this thing right now. Oh, you guys are just going ahead and doing the elevator? Yeah. Right on. So we got to go up this rope right here. Um, change over to that rope up there. And then go over there. What we're trying to get to is way down this canyon. All right, guys. Going up yonder. Now, this doesn't look like a new rope. Last time I was here though, there was so much mud on this thing, it was ridiculous. I got my, I'm all tangled up in this rope. Anybody coming down when you came over here? Nope. <clears throat> here we are, this is the deepest pit in America. So, can we go back this way over here? Alright, two points of contact on this one for sure because that's 586 feet. We are technically traversing the deepest pit in America right now. Like I said, and I can't stress this enough, I've got a video on this where we went down that, and uh, I'll link it in the description, but it's definitely worth checking out. And I'm not just saying that because it's my video. It's actually just, you know, probably the coolest thing I've ever done. This bag weighs so much. It just seems so... Uh, Detrimental right here. Oh, this part right here. This is the part. I'm like dangling above this pit right now. Okay, 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 okay. All right, okay, okay, all right, all right. There we go. All right, just to put this in perspective, this is the deepest pit in America, and Seth's got a rock. He's gonna throw it. Oh. We're leaving Fantastic Pit. We're going up. 
Dude, there's a lot of wind blowing up here. Holy cow. 14 mile cave, it'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. All right, I am putting this on my head. Yeah, go, go ahead and get in front. I got the road bag. I'm gonna take my sweet time. I'm close too. Okay, cool. I'll have some company then. There's another pit over here that's massive. And I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's go. Ow. Yeah, I smacked my head. But I had a helmet on, so it really didn't hurt at all. More of a reaction, yeah. I can't wait to use this rope, dude. This is the first time I've ever used this rope. I've had it for like six months. Brand new. Yep. I got, we, me and Cade scored, I think it was 1,300 feet for 400 bucks. So, essentially we're on the side of Fantastic Pit right now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is about to get really intense because it's about to just be open air behind, beside us and a small little ledge you have to crawl on. Dang, this bag sucks. Okay. Oh, I see the traverse line. That looks... Oh. <laughs> that looks intense, man. Yeah. I'm probably putting a hand center and a cow's tail. You're the... Yeah, this is just still fantastic. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Alex, that looks terrifying. <laughs> You're standing on the Not as deep as you would think it would be. There's like a ledge down there. It's yeah. Like, it's like 60 foot down. Yeah, that's a, that's a good number. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Woo! Are you all the way across? Hang on. I'm off rope. Dude, this is terrifying. All right, so I got my swaggo on my chest and this bag on my back. Does that sound like a good way to do this? <laughs> okay, there's that. Let's not lose this. And flip in with this. Uh, I have faith in you. And I got I got a little bit of faith in myself. A little bit. <sighs> Yo. Oh. <laughs> You know, now that I'm up here, it's not like as bad as it looked when I was watching y'all do it. Say what? Yeah, I ain't, you know, it's pretty scary, but nothing. All right, that's 500 feet beside me. Oh my God. Yeah, fun's a interesting word for this. I'm shaking like a leaf right now. Yeah. Good, cause I'm not going fast. Okay, come on. <clears throat> oh my God, is that me kicking those rocks down? Oh 
God. No more two points of contact. Right, 20 seconds. Oh, off rope. Yo. Oh, is that this loop around to where you guys are? All right. Shoo! What's up, guys? What's up, bro? You know, You're in nature's air conditioner right now. Are we going that way? Yes, uh -huh. sir. Oh, I guess we really can't go that way, can we? No, I mean you <laughs> can. Once. With a big old rope. <laughs> he said once. <laughs> All right. So this is the passage we take down here. So once you go under that rock, keep continuing on. Yo, Alex. Yo. Was this all dynamited too? I don't know about this part. Huh. Yeah, that area back there we were just in, that's all been dynamited. So you can access the top of a fantastic pit. Before there was that dynamited area, you would rappel into a waterfall at 510 feet on the balcony below it. Holy crap. Look at that formation, dude. I know, right? God, there are some immaculate formations in this cave. Let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, I'm about to get mine. Oh yeah. God, that is beautiful. That looks Dang, really man. Funky. Yeah, it does. Huh. A baking cloud. That's so pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of pure white formations running on the ceiling in this cave. It's kind of terrifying that we're above right now, too. Well, we're above. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Is that it? Yeah. I don't think so. No, we haven't found a pit yet. What? We haven't found a pit yet. Just a big old room. I also don't know. Yeah, that's the thing about Ellison's, man, is everything's so big, it's kind of hard to navigate. In a weird way, yes. So you gotta have rope to go any further? Yep. Oh. Uh, the first one is gonna be like 100 Yeah. How deep is it? I don't know, I can't see. Huh. I don't wanna be able to see that the way it looks, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah good point. That beautiful flow stone. There you go. All right, now I'm ready. Kinda. There you go. Alright, Alex is rigging up the drop before all in one pit. Oh. You okay? I like put my spinal <laughs> right on a point. <laughs> I'll wake you up. Yeah. Alright. We're on the bottom. Hey, hey, yeah. Sounds wet. We'll see here in a minute. Good luck, man. Don't, uh, don't talk yourself into nothing crazy and don't talk yourself out of anything that's cool. Yeah, fair enough. That's great, great advice, actually. That looks 40 foot deep. Uh, huh, I can't really tell right now. Looks like it might be a little bit bigger. I'll put the rope right there. Seems like a good spot. What's up, guys? Thanks. Is that it right there, a little hole? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's uh, a window repel. 
What is this contraption right here? I think it's a belt buckle. Is it? I don't know. I don't know what that is, yeah. I saw it too though. Weird. This bag becomes like a chair when you get to the bottom. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Aww, for rope. Say what? That'd be a pretty cool color, actually. It does look like it. I think that there's not like a lead line to this one, though, actually. A what? A lead out line. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so cool. I just let it sit over here for a little while and drip. And, uh, I've got some water. I just gotta filter it. How are these bolts looking? They look good. They haven't moved, <laughs> yeah, that's what if that's what you're asking. Yeah, basically. Yeah, hang on, basically, um, these are, Can you look down from there or not? A little bit. Come on over. Clip in. <laughs> Here, I'll get out of your way. Dude, when I like something, I haven't liked something this much in a long, uh, ever, Caving. ever. Caving, man, it's a magical thing. Man. Yeah. It's just such a crazy thing that you can just do, and it's like, well, see, when I first, well. yeah. when I first, like, before I started caving, I thought there was like one cave in the country. You're like, like ten caves in the country or something. They're super rare, and like they're all commercial. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know you could just do this. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't know pits oh existed God. either. I, I, I thought caves were just like horizontal too. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that pits were a thing. Oh yeah. You, you seem very worried about them. Well, this one definitely moves. Yeah, I'm not worried about the half inch, whether you're not going down too far, it's not going to be just a road down there. I'm going to watch them. Glad that you're fine. All right, I trust you. Turn this light up a little bit. See if we can't look down that pit. Oh, these bolts, Alex. These bolts. You've got me tripping, man. That is gonna hold you no matter what. So Alex has just been down here and he came right back up. And I'll explain why right now. So this is a lip. This is not a free hang. And there's about, I hear running water down there too. So this is a, uh, a lip right here. And when you repel and put a rope over a lip, every time you ascend, you are bouncing on that rope. And every time that rope rubs across that lip, like so, it's gonna weaken that rope and it eventually it will cut it. Cause this is a 374 foot pit. That's not a common thing. That's actually a really special thing. And I think that this should have proper rigging for, uh, a special thing, if that makes sense. Again, you know, this it sucks because this uh if this wasn't Hudson Classic, this might we might get away with it. Even then, man, that's not what you want to think about when you're sit and you're hundreds of feet up on a rope for a long time, you know. It's it'll take probably 30 minutes to get out of here. Especially the way I'm dressed right now. I've got my wetsuit on. I'm, I'm cold, man. But what the heck is going on here? Oh, I also found this thing at, uh, I'm not gonna name drop the cave, but I found it at the entrance of a pit. If it's yours, I'll mail it to you. Just let me know. Till then, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so do a little bit of changeover so we can get out of here. Look down this pit. Wow, dude. That's massive. Turn this thing on turbo. Oh, my light's almost dead. I gotta, we've got to uh, ascend out. Oh, and that's not the rope that I should be on. That would've just pulled the whole spool down. How stupid would that have been? All right, so 
Got to scoot down just a little bit. I'm going to get a changeover on video for y'all. This is a changeover going from down to up. God, that Hudson Classic is so slick. I haven't done a changeover going from down to up in quite a while. I'm not even going to lie. Normally, I'm going up and coming down. Take this out, too. How's that bolt looking, Alex? That's what I like to hear. Cool, so now I'm hooked in. I can undo this rack. And then I've got my two points of contact. So if one of these hand ascenders, or it's just the senders, one's a hand ascender, one's a chest sender. If one of them fails, the other one will catch me and I'll just be stuck here. I'm just joking, I got a purse it. It would just suck to get out. Which is crazy, because all the old timers way, way back in the day, they used to only use purse to go down these pits. I think, hey Alex! Fantastic was first done on a Persic, wasn't it? Yeah. Fantastic was first done on a Persic, right? Persic, however you say it. Dude, I don't have I've heard that, but that just seems like unfathomable. Yeah, oh, this is a cool shot. Look, you can see uh, Zach. Is that Zach or Alex? Zach. Yeah, you can see him like right here. It's a really cool scene. Stay here, actually. All right. Taking a picture. Yeah, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. Look down. Look even more down if you can. Hey, well, yeah. Cool. Get a cool one. Yes, this is a terrifying position for me. Can I? Uh, is it? A, is it like a crazy picture? Not like super crazy. I need to touch it up and see if I can make it look right. I would say, if you could send me the raw one, I'd love to shout you out on Instagram, post that on my Instagram. I see the edited one too. Well, I feel like that's more like your custom thing, you know? Like that's not, you know? And that, that is, you'll see what I mean. I don't know the photography like rules. Sending raws is not usually something people do. All right, on the traverse of death, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have looked over there. <laughs> going back is so much worse than going forward. Or going whatever way we went. My brain's rotting right now. All right, Brody, off rope. Kind of. Now I am. Is it bad? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> no kidding, dude. This is ridiculous. Not a probably the smartest thing you could do. Yeah. Just too lazy to crouch down, Ryan. <laughs> I put my life on the line for nothing. For nothing, really, yeah. A little bit faster. Isn't that sad? Yeah. All right. Back across the crazy traverse. <sighs> this one seems more intense, probably on the video. But this one's a lot easier than the other one. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Is it in? Yep. <laughs> I was just prepared for it to drag me. Off rope! Mm -hmm. 
All right. So we go to the elevator, and then after the elevator, which is just that little rope we climbed up and traversed over onto that sit down area, we're gonna be at the warm up pit. Okay, I got a big old bag with a big old rope in it. I'm going down a pretty small pit, actually. Later, guys. All right, rope swing, I guess. That was actually really fun. All right, hand a sander off. Off to the side. I've got so much stuff strapped to me right now, it's crazy. Feel like I've like accumulated stuff in this cave. Oh, it's quick. That was really quick. Holy crap, dude. Oh yeah, at the bottom of this little bitty pit. All right, Ryan's climbing out right now. Look at him go. He's actually flying up that rope, like always. That waterfall though, man. Hey, Ryan, look over at the waterfall. Oh man, that's gnarly, dude. Shoo! Holy crap, guys. Cross the old green line. This is the first rope I ever bought. Look at it now. so cold right here. Gotta heat up. All right, here we go. Do not swing into the waterfall. Now oh, I'm inching closer to it. Oh man, that's intense. I can feel this rope like creaking every time I ascend. Oh, that's scary. Oh, I just didn't expect to see anybody when I looked up. <laughs> Was I not here the first time? No, you just looked intense, dude. <laughs> I know you can see it in my face. <laughs> Woo! Right at the end of your rope, too, like. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's holding my rope up there. He, watch out. Yeah. Go around. Oh, nice. And then I'll retake the rope again, dude. Whew. Oh, man, I was up here playing it up. Oh. I do feel like that picked up a little bit. I do too. That looks more intense than when we got here. Kinda. I think it does. I also I didn't mean, really look we, at it super hard. Until we start walking down it though, I'm not gonna really know. Fair enough. Figure out if I get my feet wet or not. <laughs> does this cave ever like completely flood? There's no way, right? It's killed a lot of people from flooding. Completely flooded? Not like completely flooded. No, there was an expedition done one time in the early 2000s in here. Yeah. They brought like 12 people in here to map this back part of it. And whoever their guide was, didn't check the weather or something? I don't know. All I know is that they thought they were going to be okay. They got down there, they put up base camp about a day into it, everything went wrong. Damn. Oh, oh it's cold, man. It's about to be a freezing walk back to the car. All right. Back on solid ground, kind of not really, because we're above a cave. All right, guys, we made it out of Ellison's cave. Really wish we saw the bottom of all in one, but redemption next time. We heard the bottom of it. Go, yeah, we did. There's a lot of water down there. Yeah. Go follow Alex Underground Explorers, Ryan Underground Adventures, and Zach. He's going to create a YouTube channel soon. When he does, I'm going to link it in the description. Yes, sir. Peace out. I'll see you guys next week.